Hello, and thank you for stopping by JD Halls and more. I'm Jennifer, and today I've got a mini Dollar Tree haul for you all. Yes, this is my second go at this video. My first time, which was just a few minutes ago, I thought I had pressed record on my phone. No, no, I didn't. So we're doing it over. Luckily, I didn't get very far. So here we go. It consists of some socks, a couple pens, and the rest Christmas. And like I said, it's a mini haul. Um, these two first things I got are journaling by ink metallic brush markers. They're both premium metallic finish, writes on black paper. One's a brush point for both of them, of course. And one's in silver ink, one's in green. Um, I do have another one that I just got a few weeks ago. It's in another haul video down the line. And that one's a purple one. So I thought it'd be good for crafting. Then I got some socks. And this first pair is for Courtney. She loves her SpongeBob. Actually, I heard her roommate dressed up. Her roommate was SpongeBob and Courtney was Patrick for Halloween. And then here's that sock no show size four to ten so this is for courtney and then the next one's for emily again i'm not gonna open up the packaging because they're not mine and as all you all know emily loves um stitch so there's stitch and it says stay weird pretty fitting for her just kidding them these next three socks are mine. I'm still not going to open them because I do not need them. I have enough pairs. This is just down the road. This one is of Snoopy on laying on his doghouse and Woodstock is on them. So let me see if I can get, there we go. That. And then this one is of Mickey. That's Mickey. And the final sock I found. I'm kind of surprised I found these socks because there's times where I'll see some socks hauled, you know, of Disney or whatever, and we never get them here, way up north. And this is a mini. Actually, it's both Mickey and Minnie, I guess. Here we go. There's Mickey. There's Minnie. So we got those. Now on to Christmas. I found four of these books, and they're by Benden, made in the USA. It says Piggy Toes Press. They're copyright this year, so um, the first one is The Night Before Christmas by Clement Seymour. I'll just kind of go through just, I just thought, you know, how cool is this? So I'll just put it in with my Christmas stuff and some year when we have grandbabies down the road, like I always say can read it to him. The Newborn King. The Nutcracker, my least favorite one, just because our town, Southwest Minnesota, is notorious for the nutcrackers. Just because there's one lady that owns over 2,000 nutcrackers and her family decide she's still alive, but her family decided they are gonna donate them to the historical society in town. So they're all downtown in there. And then the city had to take over and build some other nutcrackers. And ugh, we're like the nutcracker capital of the world and it's really nause nauseating and I can't stand nutcrackers at that point. But anyway, got it because it was part of the thing. A Christmas Carol. So 
So, if I can hold these all here. Pretty slippery, slippery little books, but I thought that was cool. And then I got the scarf. It's 60 by 11 inch. And it says, tis the season. It has a red house and gnomies with holding on to a um, cardinal. We all know what the meaning of uh, cardinals are, don't we? Besides it being our town mascot up at the school. It just means that there's somebody, somebody from your past, somebody that has passed away is visiting you. So if you didn't know that, that's what that means. Then I found this, this is new this year. Um, it's by Chris, Chris Star. And they're saying this is a stemless wine glass, 15 and a half ounce. And this one, there was a few different, um, theme ones, but I, of course, you're going to know why I got this one. This is Happy Holidays, and it is of the gnomes, both sides, as you can tell. Let me get it closer for you. So I thought that was pretty good for a five-quarter store. And this is an eight-piece Crafter Square Paint Your Own Ornament. And it's of uh, the candy canes and a gnome. And the pants are blue, green, and red. Looks like that. And then I got some treat bags. 15 count for each of these. This is just more, more of the um, gingerbread theme one. Has the pink hearts, red hearts, green stocking. Pine trees, candy cane, gingerbread men, women. And then the next one is like a woodland creature theme. And I thought that was cool. It says, be merry and bright, joy. Let's see, it has the bear and a deer and a fox. So got that. And then I found wall art, includes one sheet of graphics. It's 27 and a half by nine and three fourths inch. And I hadn't seen this out in the past, but of course I got it because it has the gnomes. Looks like there's gingerbread, hot cocoa, candy cane, stockings, the camper. So, and then I found some tissue paper. This is just red. It's 10 sheets. It's all red with the sparkles, as you can tell right there. This one is 10 as well. This one kind of opened up. And it's just of the uh, evergreen trees. This is 16, and it just says, Merry, Bright, Joy, Cheery, Merry, Cheer, Bright. And then there's 16, so there'll be four sheets of the um, worded one and the striped, and then four of the plain and four of the green. And the last one I got is 24 sheets. Um, so we'll have 12 that are red and 12 that are green. So I know I already have tissue paper, but why not stock up on it when you see it? Then I found this gift bag. I hadn't seen it before. Another gnome one. And it says, Merry, Naughty, and Nice. The uh, Merry and Nice one are the same. Well, the hats are about the same. They're the same. Um, but in the middle, Naughty one is in blue. And of course, you know, the back is just plain but I really like that one and then I found some a uh, two pack of window cleans now they've never done a two pack of window cleans before that I'm aware of um and it's a 20 piece so this is the front the, these are flat on the front side here 
like your normal window clings. You can also craft with them. And then these in the back are uh, puffy. You might be able to see it from the packaging. Known for the holidays is a sign he's holding. So I thought that was pretty cool. I know there's more out, but of course I went with the gnome. I'll pro I might get more. I know there's gingerbread and I kind of getting into that. Uh, and these are window decorations, 11 and a half by 93 fours, known for the holidays. And this, this is just one in the back of it. I think this was out last year and I might've already have it, but that's okay. I'll take two. And then these are both window decorations five and a half by 18 and a half inch. This says merriest, the merriest season is Santa, snowman, uh, Santa and reindeer, the red truck. I just really liked it. I really love the Santa and reindeer and the red truck on this one. So got that. And of course, you know why I got this? You got some pets, a <laughs> dinosaur. Cat, dog, black cat, another dinosaur, another day, and there's the gnomes. Mostly dinosaurs and pets and a couple gnomes, but I had to get that. And the last couple things are cards. Now the Christmas cards are going to come with red envelopes. These are just the regular cards. They're not the handmade cards yet. They'll probably are coming out later on here. Oh, this one to me is a vintage one. Vintage? Vintage. And it says, have a Merry Christmas, wishing you the happiness that only Christmas brings, a smile-filled time of year that's filled with all your favorite things. Isn't that cute? And again, the snowman is holding the cardinal. And then the last card I got, I really like this one too, it says, Merry Christmas at Christmas time, wishing you all the things that bring beauty into your world and joy into your heart. Wishing you the special things that will give you happy moments today and happy memories tomorrow. Again, I really like that one too. And that is the end of my Dollar Tree haul for you all. Yep, nothing went on today. Did see Diane this morning. Um... Otherwise, been at home. I didn't get a very good night's sleep, so I've kind of been napping today and doing laundry. Um, but, yeah, nothing going on. This weekend will be a quiet weekend, so that's good. Next weekend, our oldest daughter will be home taking her LSAT test to become a lawyer, to go to school to become a lawyer. And then we also have a band concert with our middle daughter at the campus that she goes to college to. So we'll be running over there. Um, but at any rate, if you like the video, do give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please subscribe to JD Alls and more because Diane and I would love for you to be part of our YouTube family. And until our next video, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye.